Spoon Reader coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. The show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, I think. And uh, I promised something yesterday. I know you guys are extreme hardcore fans of this stuff. And I'm just going to say this a lot of you discover it. And then you think that's where the discovery ends. And I hate to break it to you, but okay. I reviewed over 3,800 varieties. Of those, a very small percentage have gotten below three stars. That's kind of like the mid range, right? That's actually, to me, kind of like eh, two stars, eh, one star, oh. Zero stars, bottom ten. Bottom ten list, it's like... Usually each year there's something new on that list. Not always, but yeah, it's 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 not the list you want to be on. But I can, I can say that most things are in the upper range. And you get a lot of five stars. This generally depends on my mood, but ends up being a 4.5 to a 5 star. It's pretty good. Um, it's a really good baseline classification of Korean flavor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. It's good. It's definitely as a base. It's good. But standalone, and that's how I do all my reviewing... Originally, I gave it a five, but it's fallen down in years a little bit, and that's why, because sometimes it's kind of hard to differentiate. I really like this one. Oh, wait, I really like it with all these garnishes. Do I like it by itself? And it's like, hmm, see what I mean? There's, there is that, and I don't like that. So it kind of goes down a little bit. So we go to see a thousand watts. Five, whoa, five minutes for al dente, six minutes for soft, huh? Okay. Microwaving this sucker. Now, am I supposed to put that sachet in first? It calls for hot water. I've got really hot tap water. That's always an interesting thing. A lot of people are really not into using their tap water for good reason. And uh, here, though, we're really lucky. We've got amazingly good potable tap water in Washington. minutes to hang out. Do you like the, the tap water? I don't think so. You know, it says it's got 20 sayings, but I swear most of them are the same ones over and over and over. All right. I remembered to get my goldfish crackers. Gotta have my soup and crackers. I'll clue you in about that shortly. So we need five and a half minutes, actually. And power level. Uh, 
So, uh, it's, uh, for these people, it's a couple months since you've been in office. How you, how you doing? I think it's certainly possible. I think it's probably unlikely. Well, I don't know. I don't think you're still in by that time. Who knows? Who knows? There are quotes from uh, Momo Fukuando, the guy who invented instant noodles. It's kind of like a Ferengi rules of acquisition of instant noodles if you're a Star Trek fan. Number 140. Business is about numbers. You are not an accomplished entrepreneur unless you can intensely grasp the numbers in your head. So yeah, I got my crackers. I like the crackers. I gotta have the crackers because every night I get a can of like light progresso soup. I add a quarter cup of uh, uncooked rice. I add a slice of uh, Velveeta. And I add a, like a, a half a teaspoon, somewhere around there, I can't remember, of uh, this curry, curry powder. And it's freaking good. That's like, that's like my favorite thing to have for dinner. I can have that for dinner every night. In fact, often it is every night. But yeah, it's a good one. And then, But then I get a little thing of... goldfish crackers <laughs> then I like dump them all in and my wife Kit she like looks at me like I'm insane she's like you're, you're out of control so that's our little running joke but yeah oh they painted over the graffiti down on the, in the underpasses on uh, the Burt Gilman trail I'm really sad about that I didn't do it but it's nice because it's always kind of like a surprise there's like some new piece of graffiti. And since it's been so wet lately, there's a guy who spray painted on the ground, could have been a lady, but on the trail itself, there's like numbers going up this way. And on the other side, there's a mirror of the numbers going up as well. And those are the COVID numbers, like the death count. So the last one they did was 225,000. And it's already been past 300,000 for like a week, but nobody's updated it. And it's like, do I need to do this? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe the person who spray painted it got COVID. It's possible. But long story short it's kind of weird not seeing that number updated they they did it when it first got to 75,000 people that died and then they did 150 I'm like okay so the next one will be at yep 225 so we have 300,000 it's like come on spray paint spray paint do it do it yeah I'm trying to think what else is going on brought home bananas chocolate milk and goldfish crackers uh, but yeah it's going to be weird because it's Tuesday this week's already flying by all time flies by for me now it's really and I get up at the butt crack of dawn I got up at 3.15 this morning I'll go to bed probably if I'm lucky hopefully I'll be able to get get in bed early. Usually we get in bed like 11. Hopefully you'll end up passing out around 10.30, 10.45. That'd be groovy. And wake up, butt crack of dawn, go out walk and do it all over again. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's not like, it's supposed to rain. We're looking at a quarter or a half an inch of rain tomorrow morning. And, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to get to go out. Yeah, I like to walk every day. And I did close to five miles this morning. And then before I started doing these episodes, I did a bunch of walking. 
I'm like at eight miles. <sighs> and then, yeah, after I'm done doing all the editing and stuff for this video, I'll uh, do some more. At least I think I'll do some more. Am I gonna do some more? Yes, yes, yes. All right. So let's grab our microwave shin. All right. That is a viciously, viciously hot bowl right there. Give it a nice stir. So I did it in between al dente and soft. Give this a try. It's freaking hot. Very mushroomy. Miles is out there chattering like a chattery chatter chatter chatter. Ooh. Freaking hot. Which means it's the right time. Oh, right? We'll see what happens. No, it means it's the right time for cheese. We're gonna see what happens. It'll be exciting. It is. It's, it is gonna be exciting. It's funny. It's like now that he's all, probably out of office for you guys, I'm more fascinated. I can agree with him now that I have just like simple yes no random answers. You a big fan of pudding? I would say maybe. <laughs> maybe what? Maybe a big fan of pudding? So non-committal 90% of the time on this thing. Cheese. Okay. That's the first step. We're gonna add the cheese. This is what they do in Korea. Got some beef. Mm. What else we got here? Got the cheese, we got the beef. I think we need some shrooms. What's that? Oh, piece of fucking... 
fucking shit. Fuck you. Okay, it's a swearing episode. Fuck. I guess I'll just have to stir it in, but that didn't go well at all. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. Yep. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit egg. That sucks, doesn't it? I think it's totally ridiculous. It isn't it though? I mean, oh my god. It's it's like what a Frickin' deal. That that bums me out, yo, because that was gonna be a beautiful, beautiful egg just sitting right there with all its beauty. An eggitude. But no, it had to do that. Can you can you believe it? Yes, but let's see what happens. No, 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 you don't believe it. Really, really unhappy with that. The last review of the day. Here's some freaking God. That just sucks. God damn. Now it's all boring. Raw yolk, man. That's where it's at. I mean, it's like the thing went crazy, so it's not like I can like go do another. Some fried onion too, why not? God damn it. Well, I'm sorry it's a swearing episode now. It's funny because it tells you to if, if it's a certain that that doesn't cause it to be something that's like not good for advertisers, which I thought was weird. It's like it's past 30 seconds into the episode or a minute or so. And I dropped some F-bombs and stuff. Like, it doesn't seem anything bad about that. It's more like if it's right in the beginning. But I'll, you know, I'll say, you know, hey, there's, there's, there's cussing. There's some cussing in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, thoroughly... Thoroughly unhappy about that. Like, dude. Ah. Well, that's about that for me today. I am like really sorely disappointed in the uh, in that egg. Although I ended up the shirt. It's got Darth Vader and a bunch of those guys. Kind of looks like the uh, Patronus towers in Malaysia. I don't know. But yeah. 
I ended up finding a Star Wars shirt in my kid's room. And it fits. I don't know. But anyways, go check out Instant Noodles The Ramen Raider Group on Facebook. You will be glad you did. Lots of people doing stuff in there. Go on your Android phone. If you have an iPhone, throw it in the bay and get yourself an uh, Android-based phone. And go get yourself the Ramen Raider app that's in the Google Play Store. And go check out shop.theramenraider.com, the one-stop shop for uh, instant noodles. And finally, just go to ramenraider.com, theramenraider.com. Mimi would like that. Would that make you happy, Mimi? Yeah? Oh, Hello Kitty's gonna make her happy. Okay. Anyways, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you better luck with your noodles than I just had with that stupid egg. Have a good one. Bye.